My name is Kiki Carpenter. I'm 18 years old and I've been attending Jamison for almost three years. With the Youth Leadership Program, I became way more confident in myself. Like, a lot of people who met me during the summer before the Youth Leadership, they didn't think I was funny. They just thought I was just there. And now I'm learning that I'm a pretty funny person and I'm sweet and I'm sensitive to other people. And I love myself and I would have never gotten that had I not come to Jamison. We had a community service trip where we went to Foley, Alabama, and we did community service work for elderly women. And what we did was we did a lot of yard work. We raked leaves, we cut back brushes, we pulled thorns so they wouldn't get hurt. It was a lot of hard work. And at first I was complaining, I'm like, it's hot. And Oh, I got stuck by a thorn. It was like the little things I paid attention to instead of paying attention to the bigger picture. And then it was like Monday I complained, Tuesday I was just like, oh wow, that lady was really happy with what we did. And it formed me into being more appreciative of what I'm surrounded by. Like those women, they're older and they're alone. And it makes me appreciate that I have such a supportive community around me. It just shows you how to open your eyes to the bigger picture. It makes you want to do more. It makes you want to not stop at one person, but to keep influencing people and just go from here and spread on out. I was so ready to give up. I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I'm tired. I'm not smart enough to do this. And Tim told me, he said, Kiki, you can do whatever you want to do. He said, the only person who's stopping you would be you. And I'm like, so is he trying to tell me I'm not going to do it? And he was like, he looked at me and saw the confusion on my face. He said, I'm telling you that you're the one who can break down these doors. And so one day I was in class and I was taking a test and I'm like, I can't do this. And then I hear Tim's voice saying, now Kiki. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, Tim, I hear you. And I was looking at the test and I'm like, I studied and I could do this, I could do this. And I tried my hardest and it came back as a B and I was so happy. I'm excited to be the first person in my family to graduate high school and go to college because my mom, when she was in high school, she had to drop out to take care of her mother and my dad had to do the same thing with his family. And so with me doing that, my mother called me the other day and told me she signed up to get her GED because she saw her daughter getting ready to graduate. and. It's just so emotional and so warming and humbling to know that with me being 18, I have this influence on a parent and I couldn't have done it without Jameson. I see myself graduating college, of course, and I see myself with three kids and a husband and a cat. And I see myself working for CNN and bringing the truth to television. I see myself coming back to camp and donating a bunch of money to it because I know what they do. I see myself going back to camp and being a counselor over the summer and sending my own kids there. And even like for a short term, I see my brother coming home from Georgia for the summer and me saying, you're going to Jameson because I know it's going to make you better. 